Iran's deplorable record on human rights colors every consideration of the regime. Scores of human rights and political activists remain imprisoned for peaceful activities. Journalists, for example, are routinely arrested and charged and imprisoned. For some insight, we spoke with an Iranian-Canadian writer and human rights activist, Maryam Nayab Yazdi. We also reached out to people in Iran to ask them what it's like to live under such an authoritarian regime. For their safety, they cannot be identified, and we've altered their voices. Here now, a human rights perspective. بیکاری و تورم داره اینجا بیداد میکنه کار نیست و اونایی که جوان هستن چه اونایی که تحصیلات دانشگاهی دارن چه اونایی که ندارن بیکارن الان بعد گرانی اجناس خیلی گرانی داره بیداد میکنه حقیقتا الازه بحث حقوق بشر هم باید بگم که افتضاح وضعیت ایران the first concern of any human being is food and shelter. So, you know, if those are, uh, if those are not being met, you're, you want to make sure that uh, you sort of get those needs met first, and then you are concerned about your basic freedoms and rights. So Iranians at this point, um, a lot of them can't even afford bread to eat. So that's their number one concern. And Rouhani has not been able to make significant economic improvements to the country. آقای روحانی، احمدی نجات، خاتمی، خامنه ای، گور پدر همه تو، گن زدی تو مملکت، ریدی تو مملکت، امروز جلوی چش خودم، یه پدر جلوی چش خودم، به خاطر نداری، به خاطر بدبختی، به خاطر آشخالایی مثل شما، با سه تا بچه، با سه تا بچه خودکشی کرد. I think uh, there's always hope for change. Um, the Iranian people uh, have shown over and over again, especially after the 2009 election, that you know they are brave and they're willing to uh, stand up for themselves. Uh, but at the same time, when you live under a dictatorship, you do need solidarity and support from outside the country. So when you have a Western government officials uh, looking to talk to the Iranian authorities while willing to ignore the human rights situation and the civil society, uh, you're not actually helping to strengthen the civil society when you're ignoring the people. از جهت دیگه هر شش کاندیدا سابقه سرکوب دارن. حجاب اجباری در ایران توسط حسن روحانی در واقع قانون گذاری شده، بدعت گذاری شده و راه افتاده. اعدام های گسترده در سال 67 در تابستان سال 1967 که ادام های خیلی بسیار زیاد بوده چندین هزار اعدام بوده توسط یکی دیگر از کاندیده های انتخاباتی انجام شده به نام آقای رئیسی یکی دیگر از کاندیده ها محمد باقر قالیباف کسی که در سرکوب افراد آزادی خواه و دانشجویان در سال 78 نقش به سزایی داشته همینطور همون موقع رئیس شورای عالی امنیت ملی فردی بوده به نام حسن روحانی که امروز رئیس جمهور ایرانه و ایشون هم در نماز جمعه گفت باید در محل نماز جمعه کسانی که در واقع دانشجویان رو باید اعدام کنه we do need to ensure that any dialogue with the Iranian authorities puts human rights at the top of the agenda. That's how we can ensure real change in the country. If we actually want to improve the situation in Iran and uh, help Iranians to engage with the rest of the world, is we have to help strengthen Iranian civil society. So uh, at this point, I don't see the Trudeau government making serious steps, taking serious steps to help uh, improve the human rights situation in Iran. And I don't see them putting human rights at the top of their talks. Uh, at the same time, there hasn't been really any significant talks in the first place. For the past almost nine years, uh, we have a Canadian resident who's, um, who's in Evin prison in Tehran. And he, uh, he's been on he was on death row for about five years before his death sentence was commuted to life in prison. And this is a completely innocent man, Saeed Malikpour, who's a web programmer, um, who is, is a political hostage, and he's actually done nothing wrong. 
And uh, the Trudeau government has been completely silent on his case in the public sphere, and they've never mentioned his name in any statement. And we're not actually sure if um, they're doing anything for his release. The first step is for the Trudeau government to care about Canada-linked prisoners um, to show that they care about human rights in Iran, and then care about um, other issues that are important to Canadians. Um, that you know, we don't want to compromise Canadian values in the in the process of talking to the Iranian authorities, like women's rights and equality and gender equality and such. در زمینه حقوق بشری اعدام ها زیاد شده وضعیت همین توی توییتر ما بارها تو این چهار سال برای خیلی ها همین جا هشتک آزادی زدیم من نمیدم چه جوری مردم میتونن اینا رو فراموش بکنن چه چیزی عوض شده واقعا در طی این چهار سال کجا یک حرکت مدنی شکل گرفته به هیچ تجمع اجازه اجازه داده شده که نمیدم اعتراض بکنن من واقعا چیزی نیدم business investment in the country of Iran, uh, how sustainable is that? And how can the Trudeau government uh, sort of guarantee that, you know, if a C Canadian resident or a citizen goes to Iran for business, that they're not going to end up in Evian prison? Uh, how can they guarantee that in such an unsustainable country, in such a, in, uh, in a country that operates on lawlessness, essentially? Mm -hmm.